People, my people, today I want to discuss with you the revelation that, surprise, surprise, Coles has been flogging off a wholly owned subsidiary as a craft gin. The gin in question happens to be um, Pure Origin, according to the article on the ABC, in which there's going to be a link in the write up. Pure Origin is 100% owned by Coles. There's, no, it has precisely one customer, and that's Coles. And the logic is, is if Coles is doing it, then Woolworths has to be doing it as well. Is this a bad thing? I mean, about 12 months ago, when Four Pillars um, sold, there was a whole lot of mumbling and beards and outrage at that. How dare Four Pillars sell itself and go international? Um, you know, Cameron would committed the ultimate sacrilege. And the question I want to ask and explore is, is this a bad thing? Because at the moment I'm looking at the article and it's saying that Coles is selling gin for $64 a bottle. Um, okay, a little bit of market research and I'm now looking at the liquor land right up for this. Um, the booze is proof. So it's just, <laughs> they're literally selling it for... Yeah, sixty-four dollars. There's Pure Origin Tasmanian Gin, seven hundred mils, fifty-six bucks. First choice liquor. Um, pure. It's up to eight dollars more at Liquor Land. Um, same price at Vintage Cellars, which I think is owned by Coles. Is it necessarily a bad thing because it's slowing our prices? Um, I happen to think it is because if Coles is doing this and they start having market share then a lot of the really small distillers are going to go out of business and we're going to have the same to offer. In fact, I was listening to ABC Radio this morning in, in Melbourne and there's a whole lot of t Woolworths and Coles are simply too big. They're dominating the thing, the market and they're dictating prices. And if these guys are laid around to get away with it, um, then they're just going to start bulldozing the small guys out of business and we're going to lose product diversity and generally it's you know we're going to start getting shit because once these guys have got no competition and we can only buy from them if we will have a gin we've got to buy you know, coals or buy Woolworths the guarantee the quality is going to go down so I'm of the opinion that this is a distinct negative um, they should be made to stop it there should be full disclosure you know this this gin is owned by Coles. It, there's only one customer this company has it's us and they should be made to raise their price, either Coles is made to raise the prices or the government does something about its excise and actually drops it. Because I don't know of any distiller I drink from who could make booze at this price. Okay, you go to Imbue Distillery, you go to Port Phillip Distillery, which is in dispensary, you go to Brogan's Way, you go to the Angry Duck, um, you go to my friends Dave and Dean at Organic Bay and they will all tell you that for they for them to start marketing the proof gin and proof vodka at this price, they would be losing money. They'd be out of business in about six months. It's unsustainable. And that's why I think it's completely unfair. Coles is using its the fact that these guys can we've got the money to put together a distillery that can crank out a gigalitre a year and it's quant you know, then it's just an economy of scale. Um, you're still making a million dollars on your gin a year, but you're doing it at one or two percent profit. Um, I, so I think this is completely unfair. Um, it's bad for the industry. It's the only people that's going to really benefit are coal so, so, um, shareholders, and I'm not a coal shareholder. I actually considering perhaps whether I should be or not. Um, so over to you guys. This is my little rant. This is not good. They should be made to stop it. Um, and something should be done about that damn excise before it puts all these beautiful distilleries that we love drinking out of business. I'm Odin. Subscribe, like.